Okay, the second principle now is use it and improve it. And this really is a foundational concept for recovery in neurorehabilitation. Permanent changes in the central nervous system can be induced through extensive training. Um, first of all, we'll talk about some um, animal studies that showed um, some of these changes that can occur um, both in intact animals and those with damaged central nervous systems. Um, I do want to show you here first that uh, some examples here um, of a, this use it and improve it um, phenomenon. In the upper right, um, we have this woman, again, uh, weakness in her right limb, um, her left limb, left upper extremity is her uninvolved limb, and by putting a mitt on that uh, unaffected limb, it's sort of forcing her to have to use her paretic limb. And so, again, uh, uh, doing that, that type of activity, restraining use of the good limb or the, the uninvolved limb is one way to force use of the paretic limb. In the middle uh, photo there, we see an individual gait training um, on a treadmill. Again, he does not have um, any um, devices to hang on to with his upper extremities. Um, a, par a portion of his body weight is supported, so by doing this, this uh, forces or allows um, more weight through the paretic limb to work on that extensor control and then the flexion control during swing. And then thirdly here on the, on the bottom right, um, this individual does not have um, active movement um, distally, but the therapist is working on him weight bearing and getting some use out of his um, using, you know, activating the shoulder stabilizers and the triceps so he can use that uh, paretic limb um, while we're all reaching with the non-paretic limb. Mm -hmm.